Hey, welcome to a man channel. Uh, Brian here behind the camera. On the table in front of me, you guys are seeing a variety of the Goo Energy Gels. Uh, I already did a video on one, the Goo Roctane, and it seems to be doing pretty well, so I figured I'd go through and try some different flavors, tell you what I think of them. Uh, now, I'm, I am missing three flavors of this thing. There's the Peppermint Stick, the Just Plain, and the Mixed Flavor. Uh, my local stores didn't have them, but in front of you, you see pretty much all the other flavors. Uh, starting with up here, you see Lemon Sublime, Chocolate Outrage, Mandarin Orange, Jet Blackberry, Vanilla Bean. Moving down, you get Mint Chocolate, which is, what, from what I've heard, one of the best. Strawberry Banana, Peanut Butter, Espresso Love, and Triberry. So, I'm going to go through, have one of these per day, and uh, tell you guys how they are. So, now we'll go to the first one. I think I'm going to start with... Mm, I'm going to start with Strawberry Banana. So, here it is. Alright, so, Strawberry Banana, up first. Uh, let's see, some quick nutritional facts on these compared to the Goo Roctane. If you've seen my other video, I'll put the link to it here. Uh, this one doesn't have any added caffeine. It's 100 calories per serving, one serving per package, obviously. Uh, no fat, no many kinds of fat. Only 2% of your daily sodium, 1% of your potassium, which is nice. Eat a banana. 8% uh, of your total carbs, 5 grams of sugars for your health nuts out there. There's no protein in these, so they're not really that good for quick pick-me-ups. 100% uh, of your vitamin C and vitamin E, and 2% of your calcium and flavors for just flavoring crap and a bunch of words I can't pronounce that are very science sounding. So here it goes. Uh, one thing I learned from the Roctane was that I need to have some water on hand because these things are a little hard to swallow. Uh, just a tip there. All right, let's see how it tastes. Wow. That's actually really good. Uh, you can really taste it as strawberry banana. It kind of tastes like a smoothie, actually. Uh, which is good, because that's my favorite kind of smoothie. Hmm. No, it's still got that weird consistency, but it's a gel. I mean, it's going to have... Any of them will have that consistency, but... There's no weird aftertaste in this one, like there was on the Roctane. You kind of have to chew it, but not really. Uh, wow, that's actually really good. So, first one, strawberry banana. I'm going to go ahead and give this one the benchmark. I'm going to give this one 10 out of 10. I mean, favorite so far. First one I've tried, but favorite so far. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. That might change. I'll put that in the comment here, maybe. Uh, but yeah, for now... This one's my favorite. Need a little bit of water to wash it down, but other than that, very good. So, moving on to the next one, I think we will go with Vanilla Bean next. Okay, so day two of the Goo Energy Gel review. Uh, today we're doing Vanilla Bean. Uh... I don't know, we'll see how it is. I already told you on the nutritional facts, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, say hello to Charlie. This is Charlie. Okay, and as always, the trusty water. Because this stuff is not that easy to swallow. Okay. Vanilla on its own, okay, yeah, vanilla on its own, definitely better than the orange vanilla Roctane that I tried. Uh, still a little weird flavor, and it, it sort of tastes like warm, like melted ice cream that's room temperature, uh, if you've ever done that. <laughs> but uh, it does kind of, it has a little bit of that weird, like, sort of chalkiness to it that the Roctane had. Uh, hmm. 
has a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but you can you can definitely taste the vanilla. The vanilla is less of a concentrate. Uh, and it's, it seems like the flavoring is a bit better. It's always you know gel, whatnot, hard to swallow. But uh, this one, it's probably not gonna be my favorite. You know, I already gave the other one a 10 out of 10, but this one's probably gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven. You know, it's it's pretty good. I like vanilla. It's not a bad flavor to me, and it's uh, it's superior energy and maximum recovery. That's their little tagline there. But I don't know, not bad. So seven out of ten, uh, and stay or keep watching, I guess, because this is all one video for the third part. So that's next. I think I will do. Hmm. Why don't we go with the Mandarin Orange next? So, here's that one. Okay, right, so here's day three of the Goo Energy Gel uh, review. Again, Charlie popping up behind me. Uh, and today, like I said, we're going with Mandarin Orange. Uh, I'm kind of tired right now, so I haven't slept in a while. Uh, so, hopefully this Energy Gel revitalizes me. There we go. Really easy. To, oh yeah, these things are really easy to tear off. They're uh, they got this little pre-cut area. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, also, if you can see it, that's what it looks like. It's kind of a blob-looking type thing. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the viewfinder to make sure I'm actually on screen. Anyway, here we go. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes like mandarin oranges. Uh, really strongly, sort of weird flavored mandarin oranges, but it tastes like mandarin oranges. Uh, so, oh, damn, it has that weird aftertaste again, that sort of chalky aftertaste. Uh, again, I, I didn't get that with the strawberry banana, uh, but I've gotten that with the mandarin orange and the vanilla, but uh, other than that, I like mandarin oranges. Uh, I'll eat them by the can. Um, you know, mandarin chicken is one of my favorite Chinese foods. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure I like this one. It's it's kind of... It doesn't sit well in the mouth. I, I don't even know if I'm able to finish this. I'm going to go ahead and give this a four. It's just... I'm not pleased with it. Uh, you're, you know, you may be different, you may love this, uh, it's not for me. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a four. So, uh, up next, we're going to be doing Jet Blackberry, which is interesting to me, because, uh, Blackberry is a real hit or miss flavor with me, either I love it, uh, like, we found a Blackberry version of that Wild Blue beer that Jeremiah reviewed, uh, and it's wonderful, there's also raspberry, uh, and other times I don't like blackberry pie. So, we'll see how this goes. Keep watching. Okay, so day four, right? Four? Yeah, four. Okay, day four. Uh, Steelers pride today. Steeler Nation, baby. I just lost all my viewers in Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Baltimore. <laughs> uh, Jet Blackberry, here we go. Again, easy tear. Wow, it really smells like back yeah, blackberries. So hopefully, here we go. Oh, finally, one without the damn aftertaste. Okay, this tastes like just someone mashed up some blackberries. This is wonderful. <laughs> wow, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Okay. So, Jet Blackberry, uh, it really just tastes like you met someone, just went and mashed up some blackberries and just stuck them in this, but it's supposed to give me energy. So, which it did yesterday, uh, I was like half asleep, it helped, really, really helped me uh, make it to a normal bedtime. Uh, <laughs> so, beaten insomnia with energy gel. Alright, uh, yeah. This one, uh, not my favorite. Favorite still strawberry banana. But this is definitely a 10. Or not a 10, I'm sorry, not a 10. Why did I say 10? This is a 9. This is a 9. So not my favorite, but damn close. So Jet Blackberry, 
9 out of 10. And next up we have, let me just grab one of the pile here. Oh, I'm going to be bold. This could either go really bad or really well, and that is peanut butter. So, here's that. Okay, so day five. Uh, getting a little tired of eating these all day, every day, but you know what? They Some of them are good. So, anyway, day five is peanut butter. Not going to talk about it much. I'm just going to go ahead and get right to it. Well, no surprise. It smells like peanut butter. And it tastes just like peanut butter. Okay, so, no real surprise there. It's hard to mess up peanut butter as a flavor. Now, something I want to point out here. You would probably be better off... Oh, this one has some different nutritional facts. Hold on. This has a little bit more sodium, a little bit more potassium. Uh, this is the first one that's had different nutritional facts. Same calories, though. Uh, this one does have fat, 2% of your daily total fat. And this one has protein. So this is the first time proteins showed up in these. Uh, none of the other ones have had proteins so far. I'll show one of the unopened ones. Yeah, see, like the uh, mint chocolate, which is next, by the way. It uh, doesn't have any protein, and it has actually more saturated fat. So I was wrong. Some of them do have different nutritional facts, but I'm not going to go into them all, because that would take forever. Not bad. I mean, it tastes just like peanut butter. It kind of sticks to your mouth the same way, too. So, But I know they make little packets of peanut butter, like actual peanut butter, that are about the size for uh, whoever, backpackers, hikers, whatnot. And I think I'd go with those. They're probably about the same price. Um, I managed to pick all these up on sale, by the way, uh, at my local REI, because they had their anniversary sale. I think they're like 80 cents a piece. So these videos aren't costing me that much to do. Uh, this one's really good. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10 because I love peanut butter. Uh, and next up, like I said, is the mint chocolate. So here's that one. All right, so day six, we are going with mint chocolate. Uh, see how it tastes. I'm not going to really talk about it. This one does have fat, though. It has 5% of my daily saturated fat. So, oh no, I'm going to die of saturated fat. No, I don't care. I think I'm out. Okay, the only way I can really describe this dish is, have you ever had those mint Hershey Kisses? This tastes a lot like those. They come out at Christmas, you know? This tastes a lot like those. Um, except it has a weird texture again. Mm. But I like those. Uh, I think they're tasty, so I think this is pretty tasty. Uh, the only thing I can knock on it is... It vaguely has that weird chalky aftertaste. Not really uh, noticeable unless you're looking for it and have had one every day like I have. Uh, but you shouldn't be having these every day anyways. Probably. I don't know. You probably can. It's not going to kill you. Uh, but anyway, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give this one an 8. I'll give this one an 8. That's not bad. Anyway. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, next one up is Chocolate Outrage. Okay, so day seven is Chocolate Outrage Day. Uh, we'll see how it is. Oh, and by the way, this one has the same nutritional value as the mint chocolate, I think. Yeah, so same nutritional value as the mint chocolate. It's a little more fat, uh, a little less sodium, a little less potassium, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, here it goes. Well, it's definitely chocolate. Um, a little bitter, actually. Uh, sort of, if the last one was a Hershey Kiss, this is a stale Hershey Kiss. Uh, yeah, that's the only way I can describe it. Stale Hershey Kiss. Keep this one nice and short. Doesn't have the chalky taste, at least, but definitely still hurts your kiss. I need some water. Oof. Ah. Ugh. 
I'm gonna have to go eat something else now. That was a little gnarly. Um, five. Mm, no, four. I'm gonna give that one a four. I do like chocolate, but that was a little messed up. Uh, anyway, next up, this one I'm not terribly looking forward to. Uh, espresso love. So, thanks. Okay, so espresso love today, day eight. Here we go. Okay, that's not promising. Just the smell of this is not that great. It's it's kind of like one of those espresso shots at Starbucks, but it smells less appetizing. Mm. Okay, I'm I'm someone who's recently taken to coffee. I I just started liking coffee uh, in this past year, pretty much. And this tastes horrible. I mean, this really does. This, this tastes like generic three-day-old coffee to me. Uh, no, might not to you. Again, you have your own opinions. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to finish this. Not, it's not worth it. Uh, two. I think it's two. Anyway, next up is Triberry. Uh, I don't know what the three berries are in this one. I'll get into that in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, it's day nine, almost done. <laughs> Can finally uh, get this video posted. Let's do tri berry today. This one's not opening. There we go. Let's do smell test first. Oh yeah, uh, the colors on these things change uh, depending on the flavor. Some of them are lighter and some are pinker, and this one's obviously pinker. I don't know what the three berries are supposed to be in this thing, but it has a chalky taste a little bit, and you can't really taste any other flavor, sadly. Oh, no, there it is. Hold on. It's the aftertaste. It's in the aftertaste. It's not bad. Uh, you can't really tell what the berries are in this. It may be just generic berry mix, strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, whatever. Uh, obviously not four because it's tri-berry. But, I don't know. It's it's not terrible. It's not my favorite, obviously. I think these things would actually be really good. Uh, just a general comment on these. These things would be really good if you have them before or after you exercise. Uh, just a thought. Anyway, uh, and they all do have a slight amount of caffeine in them because they all contain cola nut. I was reading the uh, the nutritional facts here on the back, but the rock it's not like the rock tan. The rock tan has added caffeine, so you know if you want that, those cost a little extra. And just check out the other video I posted link in the beginning of this one. And uh, anyway, try back. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a six. So six out of ten. Next up, the final one. We have Lemon Sublime. So I'm going to go listen to uh, some Santeria and then have this. Anyway, keep watching. Okay, it's still day nine, but I'm tired and I've been cleaning the house. So I'm going to have the last one to try and give me an energy boost. Anyway, here goes Lemon Sublime. It tastes like key lime pie, which I don't particularly like, but it kind of works in this. Hmm, that's kind of awesome. Anyway, uh, if you gotten this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Lemon Sublime, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven, because, actually, no, I, I take it back. It doesn't taste like key lime pie, it tastes just like Gatorade Lemon Lime, which is my all-time favorite Gatorade, so I'm gonna give this one that, that upgrades this to an 8. This gets an 8. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, it's like a 20 minute video, it's the longest video ever. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. And follow us on Twitter. Uh, just look for at a man channel. And we also have a blog now. It's a manchannel.blogspot.com where I'll be posting maybe an article on these energy gels. Uh, look for that sometime soon. Uh, and 
just thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. If you have any more video ideas that you want us to cover, maybe some more of these or like power bar type things you want me to taste, uh, just go ahead and put it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the Man Channel, and tune in next time. Have a good one.